In this video, we will describe how the photovoltaic is utilized to feed the largest space telescope, which is named James Webb Space Telescope. We will demonstrate the design and operational aspects of photovoltaic in space, which is far different from the photovoltaic used on the Earth. In general, photovoltaic allows us to see the cosmos at its most in-depth by allowing us to continually power the telescope. Solar technology was one of the first to be used by NASA, and it is still a crucial component of modern spacecraft. Do you know that one kilowatt is roughly enough to microwave some leftovers or to power the most significant and most technologically complex telescope ever built? For example, a photovoltaic array can generate about 21 kilowatts of electricity on the Earth, but it could only produce 2 kilowatts in space due to low solar irradiation there. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope will remain energy efficient more than 1 million miles, 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, thanks to its solar array. Historically, the first photovoltaic solar cell was unveiled in 1954 by American engineers. Solar panels were sent into orbit by NASA four years later. In this regard, the James Webb Space Telescope, which gave mankind the most in-depth glimpse into the furthest regions of the cosmos to date, is now powered by photovoltaic panels. First, we will describe the main components of satellites. Every useful satellite has four major components. A power system, which may be solar or nuclear, for example, a mechanism to adjust its attitude, an antenna to broadcast and receive data, and a payload to gather data, such as a camera or particle detector. On Christmas Day 2021, NASA launched the Webb Space Telescope. Webb will be powered by photovoltaics and will remain energy efficient more than 1 million miles from Earth, according to NASA. A 20-foot fold-out photovoltaic array is mounted to the craft's primary observatory. The system is designed at 2 kilowatts to allow for the deterioration that will occur over time as a result of the harsh space environment. The array comprises five panels joined by hinges that fold inside the launch vehicle, the Ariane 5 rocket. Because the telescope's onboard battery was only meant to last a few hours, unfolding and activating the array was seen as one of the most essential early tasks of the telescope's mission. So, what are the operational problems with the photovoltaic panels in space? Basically, space debris might damage solar panels. Furthermore, space panels are not protected by the Earth's atmosphere. Because they are subjected to more intense solar radiation, they will decay quicker than those on Earth, reducing the amount of electricity they can create. An early problem was noted as the weight of solar panels. However, this has been overcome by the creation of lightweight solar cells. The Space Solar Power Project in the United States is creating high-efficiency solar cells as well as a space-optimized conversion and transmission system. The space-based part will not have to contend with gravity other than relatively weak tidal stresses. It requires no protection from terrestrial wind or weather but must contend with space threats such as micrometers and solar flares. Two fundamental conversion technologies have been investigated, photovoltaic and solar dynamic. The majority of relative research has focused on photovoltaic conversion, which uses solar cells to directly convert sunlight into energy. Mirrors are used in solar dynamics to focus light on a boiler. The utilization of solar dynamics might result in a lower mass per watt. In 2020, the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory will test a solar module and power conversion system in space. Meanwhile, China has revealed work on its Bishan Space Solar Energy Plant, which will be operational by 2035. So how can the James Webb Space Telescope make images? When photographs captured by the satellite's massive mirror are sent back to Earth, they seem black, according to Depasquale. Each pixel in the image has over 65,000 various shades of gray that it might be, he explained, adding that because the universe is incredibly faint, most of the intriguing aspects of a satellite's image are hidden in the image's darkest areas. The imaging crew must next brighten the darkest areas of the image in order to bring out the features hidden inside the pixels without oversaturating the brightest sections of the image, which can include galaxies' centers or brilliant stars. The satellite is so sensitive that it can distinguish between infrared light. So, how do you simulate or design space systems with photovoltaic panels? For this purpose, one of the best suited software that can be used for simulating space systems with photovoltaics is MATLAB and Simulink. Specifically, MATLAB and Simulink can be used to perform time domain mission validation based on specifications. Run Monte Carlo simulations at the system level with multidiscipline spacecraft models. Conduct market research for spacecraft dimensions and hardware choices. Examine the spacecraft's telemetry and cargo data. Create intricate guidance, navigation, and control, GNC, algorithms. Photovoltaic, PV. 
power subsystem modeling and power electronics component design. Analyze RF and digital communications subsystems before deploying algorithms on FPGAs. Create embedded C and C++ code in accordance with space industry requirements. Verification and validation of flying software. There are a lot of ready codes for simulating space satellites with photovoltaic panels, but the time is limited in this video to describe them in detail. If you are interested in getting these codes, you are welcome to mention this in the comments section and we will share these codes freely, or we can also make another part for this video to describe these codes in more detail very soon. So, what are the main missions of this James Webb Space Telescope? Firstly, it will search for the first galaxies or luminous objects shaped after the Big Bang event. Its ability is due to it will be able to see back to about 100 million 250 million years after the Big Bang. It will also determine how galaxies evolved from their formation until now and observe the formation of stars from the first stages to the formation of planetary systems. Another mission for this space telescope is to study the atmospheres of exoplanets and to search for the building blocks of life elsewhere in the whole universe, according to NASA. NASA has identified almost 5,000 planets outside of our solar system, but Earth looks to be the only one with suitable circumstances for human existence. NASA announced a discovery of 5,005 exoplanets, or planets outside our solar system. The vast majority are located in a fairly tiny region outside of our galaxy, the Milky Way. NASA defines small as being within thousands of light years. A light year is equal to 5.88 trillion miles. Proxima Centauri b, the nearest known exoplanet to Earth, is around 4 light years distant. There are 8,709 exoplanet candidates. Let's now highlight the most important photos captured by the satellite. The picture depicts the 4.6 billion year old galaxy cluster SMAX 0723. This galaxy cluster's combined mass works as a gravitational lens, amplifying considerably more distant galaxies behind it. Webb's NERCOM has brought those distant galaxies into sharp focus, revealing previously unseen phenomena such as star clusters and hazy patterns. Researchers will soon discover more about the galaxy's masses, ages, histories, and compositions as Webb searches for the universe. This scene of mountains and valleys dotted with brilliant stars is really the edge of the Carina Nebula's adjacent, young, star-forming area known as NGC 3324. This image, captured in infrared light by NASA's new James Webb Space Telescope, exposes previously unseen areas of star formation for the first the discovery, which identifies the existence of certain gas molecules based on minuscule dips in the brightness of specific hues of light, is the most detailed of its type to date, confirming Webb's unrivaled capacity to investigate atmospheres hundreds of light years distant. That is all, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel to receive notifications about the coming videos.